Today we're going to visit with Fisheries Division Chief Greg Power and talk about new fishing regulations starting April 1st. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Welcome to the program, Greg. You bet. Greg, how often does the new fishing guide come out? Well, we do it every two years. It's been over 20 years now that we've been in this two-year process. So every two years, we actually the fall before the new fishing season, our, our staff, our biologists get together and look at new potential regulation changes. So we've done that over this winter, talked at them at the advisory board meetings last fall. and. Uh, so the new season will begin April 1st, and that will be for two new full years. So 22 to 24. It'll be good from April 1st of 2022 through March 31st of 24. Greg, let's go into some of the fishing regulation changes. You bet. And, you know, maybe one step backwards real quick is that we tend to not make a lot of changes, don't try to make many changes. We like to keep it simple and straightforward, the fishing guide. And that certainly was the case this go around. Uh, there are very few significant changes. You know, we tweak a few things here and there, but there's just really two more significant changes. Uh, the first would be the bass, the smallmouth and largemouth bass combination limit. Uh, statewide was three. We're going to five daily, 10 in possession. We've had that in place for two years on the big waters. Went over fine as we thought. So now we're gonna apply that statewide. And then the other change uh, that will impact those that dark house spearfish, uh, so it's only for the dark house spearfishing season and only for the big waters again, Wahi, Sakakwea, Devil's Lake, and Stump Lake. Uh, beginning next winter, you can, walleye will now be illegal to take. There are those that dark house spearfish for pike right now, they see, occasionally they'll see a walleye, and we've discussed this now for a number of years, and we, we decided let's go, we're gonna go forward with it, but just on the big water. Okay, um, we had a couple other small changes. Paddle fish tags, explain uh, that. Uh, there's a, a, it's technically not a regulation change, but it's something that certainly the fishing public or the snaggers need to know. And we have roughly about between 3,000 and 3,500 uh, snaggers out there who purchase a tag. Starting this year, you're gonna have to get those online. Same process, it's an easy process. Just go on to the department's online services and you uh, purchase your tag there. And uh, the other option out there is in the Dickinson, Bismarck, and Williston offices, but that's going to be more so an eight to five Monday through Friday deal. One thing we should remind anglers, our snaggers, is if you do it online, allow a couple extra days. Absolutely. That's the, the, the one downside of doing it online is you need to have that tag in your possession while you're snagging. So you need to allow a couple days for it to get mailed to you. We get it We get it turned around quick, but it still has to get to you via the mail. Greg, how is fishing gonna be this year? Yeah, we're still, you know, we're riding this high. We've been, I've been saying, I'm a broken record. It's a good broken record to have, but I've been saying this for a decade plus now, but we're still at record or near record uh, fishing lakes out there and our fish populations are you know, we're concerned going into winter about low wa water levels and the severity of winter, but 2022 looks to be like it should be, a, the fish are out there. You know, for the most part, most of our lakes are, the fish populations are strong, especially in the big three that people really like to hit, uh, Sakakwe, Oahe, and Devil's Lake. So we're, we're looking forward to a good fishing season. Uh, speaking of fishing season, we have a year round fishing season. Explain that. Yeah, yeah though, that's been in place. Uh, for again since the 1990s that we opened it up year round. Uh, so we don't technically close, there's no closing dates. A new fishing season where you need a new license and need to follow the new rules is effective April 1st, but any day of the year, year you know, any time of the day you can go fishing. So yeah, it's 365 days that we're open to, for business when it comes to fishing. So very few changes for the next fishing. Very, very few changes, but Again, reference a new fishing guide, that'll be out. Uh, you can get it either online or at many uh, vendors out there, and, if, and it will show the changes that we've had, and it's pretty easy to follow. A lot of great information, Greg. Thank you. You bet.